This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? Good, I hope. This song that I just sang is very different than the one that's in the hymn, in the hymnals. Um, it is from a wedding uh, album. I have a, a, wed a wedding booklet, you know, songs to sing at weddings. I used to, back in the day, sing at weddings. And this was a beautiful, beautiful song. Yeah, so I thought I would share that with you just a little bit. Today behind me, I have a beautiful rose with hearts. It's from that video that I posted a while back on Facebook uh, where these roses open up and other roses come. I just needed some, some blooming, beautiful blooming flowers today. So many things that were blooming outside is um, not really blooming that fast anymore because it's kind of very, very cold again. So it's kind of gloomy today. So I needed something blooming that would just cheer me up. And these flowers cheer me up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into God's word with Joel Olsen's The Power of I Am. Today's title is No Vacancy. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. That's from Isaiah 61. May you, maybe you've lived with a sickness or chronic pain long enough. You've put up with that depression long enough. You've struggled with the addiction long enough. Hope has begun to fill your heart. God is saying, this is your time. Get ready for release. Get ready for a breakthrough. Get ready for increase. Get ready for your seventh year. How do we get ready? Stop taking ownership of those things. That sickness, that chronic pain, that financial difficulty is not a part of your life. It may be there temporarily, but that's not where it's staying. In your mind, don't let it move in and take up residency. You need to have one of those signs out that say, no vacancy here. <laughs> Start thinking, start talking, start acting as if you're going to change. Amen. Oh, I agree with that so much. Lord, thank you for your word in Isaiah 61. And thank you, Joel, for that wonderful word picture. No vacancy here. Go away. Pain, chronic pain, sickness, depression, oppression, addictions, Go away. There is no room for you. Amen. And let it be done. Kick them out if it's around. <laughs> All right. And now for God's word in the Holy Bible, I'm going to be reading from King James Version, Exodus 34, 21. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In earring time and in harvest thou shalt rest the word of the Lord. And I hold God's word so binded around my neck. And I practice this. I practice God's word. And this particular passage I do, I have a Sabbath. Yes. And you say, well, what if something happens on that day? Well, I then change the date. The next day, either before or after. Like if I have to work on set or if a social happens and that's when everybody can meet, I do make adjustments, but I always have a day of rest because the Lord has me going around the clock and I need that day that every, every week as I'm going through my week, I just so look forward to Sabbath. I just, the day of rest where I sleep till I finish, I eat when I want, everything is just so beautifully quiet and and I just love spending that time with God and just being you know and not doing anything it is so great to rest and I highly recommend it because it's great for you but it's also God's word we're supposed to follow God's word right and who are we to not have a day of rest when God created everything here on this earth and in it, okay, in six days. Um, yeah, and then he takes a rest and we're supposed to follow him. So let's do that and you'll love it. You'll feel refreshed. You'll feel, oh my gosh, 
just so great. So great. It's just the way, the only way to live. Let me just say that. All right. And now for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. What a beautiful thing, God, to give thanks, to sing an anthem to you, the high God, to announce your love each daybreak, sing your faithful presence all through the night, accompanied by a dulcimer and harp, a full-bodied music of strings. You made me so happy, God. I saw your work and I shouted for joy. How magnificent your work, God. That is from Psalms 92, 1 through 5. Here is another word picture describing how happy we can be when we keep our focus on God. He promises to be at our side in the bad times to get us out of any trouble. He provides a safe house for us to dwell in, morning, noon, and night. As if we need a bonus, he also shares his profound thoughts with us and his love for us. No wonder we can feel like shouting for joy all the time. Amen. The prayer here today is, Lord, as I focus on you, you share more and more of your thoughts with me. I know these thoughts come from you because they are new and fresh, and they make me feel like your treasured only child. You are so incredible for making all of your children feel this special. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, that is so beautiful. And don't you feel special when the Lord loves you and you can feel his love and he guides you and directs you and gives you ideas and things and projects and ministries to do? Wow, you do. You really do feel special. Praise God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you to honor you and glorify your holy name. We shout for joy for how awesome you are. We shout for joy for the love that you give us. We shout for joy for you getting us out of trouble. We shout for joy because you are so awesome. Thank you so much for being such a great God, such an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus, for your time here on this earth for loving us, dying for us, so that we can have what we have today with you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, until tomorrow. 再见.